A new paper says that high CEO compensation and long-term company performance aren't necessarily aligned. Time to grab the torches and pitchforks! Okay, maybe we don't storm the castle just yet, but Rick Marshall and Linda Ealing Lee of MSCI ESG Research have published a paper titled, Are CEOs Paid for Performance? Spoiler alert, the answer seems to be nope. The report focused on publicly traded companies and stock performance. Marshall and Lee looked at 10-year spans to see how CEO compensation impacts long-term investments. CEO compensation consists of lots of stuff, including a base salary, bonuses, travel budgets, stocks, and stock options. The bulk of a chief executive's pay comes from those stocks and options, not from a base salary. And that sounds like it makes sense, right? If you link a CEO's compensation with stock value, then it stands to reason the CEO will work hard to make certain the company does well. In general, the better the company performs, the higher the stock price goes. And that means more money for the head cheese. But it turns out that doesn't necessarily amount to big gains for long-term investors. Marshall and Lee examined 429 companies. They divided the companies into peer groups and found the median CEO compensation for each group. Then they asked the question, if I invested $100 in these companies 10 years ago, how much would I have now? They found that companies that paid their CEOs less performed better in the long term. Why is this? Part of the problem is that the average CEO tenure at large companies is 6.6 .6 years. So you could argue that there's not enough incentive in place for CEOs to focus on long-term performance. Another issue is how companies were report and measure success. Marshall and Lee argue that the annual reporting cycle encourages this obsession with short-term gains. And while that might push stock values upwards in brief spurts, it could have a detrimental effect in the long run. So is the answer to slash CEO compensation? Marshall and Lee don't go that far. They argue that instead we should create new systems to link CEO pay to long-term company performance. That means the US Securities Exchange Commission would have to draft new disclosure requirements to make companies fall in line. And that's a tall order. While you're watching your portfolio, Treadwater, maybe subscribe to the How Stuff Works Now podcast to take your mind off things. We've got tons of cool stories in every episode. And be sure to visit now.howstuffworks.com every day to learn what's going on right now.